Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now in the previous video, we saw the concept known as timeline and how to create the timeline. Now in this video, I'll be taking another topic known as pivot charts. So we'll see first of all that what is the pivot chart and how we can create the pivot chart and then how we can use the pivot chart. So let us start. So here in the last video, we created this pivot table and then along with the pivot table, we created the three slicers and we also created the timeline. Now I want to create a pivot chart. So there are two options. Either I can create the pivot chart directly from our main table. So that also I'll show you. And also we can create the pivot chart from already created pivot table. Let me go to the order sheet here. And now I want to create a fresh pivot chart. So I can select here one of this cell, any random cell within the data table or the main table. And then I can go to the insert tab. And in the insert tab, we are having here this button, which is known as pivot chart. If I click this button here, pivot chart, then I'm having here two options, pivot chart and pivot chart and pivot table. Let me select here this first option, pivot chart. And now it is giving me this dialog box, which is similar to what we saw in the pivot table. So here it says create pivot chart. It has selected already the whole range here, the whole table. And now it is asking me that where do you want to create the pivot chart, whether you want to create the pivot chart in new worksheet or existing worksheet. Let me go to the existing worksheet and I will create this pivot chart in this first pivot table sheet. So I've selected here existing worksheet and then in the location, I click this arrow here and now I go to this first pivot table. And now in the first pivot table, I will create this pivot chart over here and then I can see here this particular cell that is first pivot table, that's the sheet name. And then we are having here $A, $36. I click this down arrow button and now I'm back over here in this create pivot table here or pivot chart. I can click on the OK button and now we are getting here the pivot table and also we are getting the pivot chart. So remember that whenever you are creating a directly a pivot chart, then by default, the pivot table is also created here. So I will select this pivot chart here. And now you can see that on the right hand side, we are having pivot chart fields. And now in the pivot chart fields, we are having almost the same option that we have in the pivot table. But there is only a small difference here that in the pivot chart, we are having here axis bracket categories. And in case of pivot table, we are having here row section. And here we have in the pivot chart that is legend or series. While in the case of pivot table, we are having here column section. So our blank pivot chart is created. Here we are having the blank pivot table. Now in this pivot chart, I will drop here something. Let's say I drop here. Suppose I drag here our category. I drag the category. I put it in the axis area. And now in the legend area, I drag here region. And in the values area, I drop here suppose sales. So here we are having a pivot chart, which is ready, where in the axis area, I've taken here category. In the legend area, I've taken here region. And in the value section, I've taken here sum of sales. So pivot chart is also ready and simultaneously your pivot table is also ready. Now let me put this pivot chart over here on the bottom area of this pivot table. So our pivot chart is ready and our pivot table is also ready. So this is how we can create a pivot chart directly from the main table. If you want to create the pivot chart, from the pivot table, you can select any one cell within the pivot table and then you can go to the insert tab. In the insert tab, you can click this pivot chart. So let me click this pivot chart and now you see the pivot chart is now created. I can decide here that what kind of pivot chart I want to see, but uh, that I'll be discussing in the next video that what are the different kind of pivot charts I can create and how I can do the formatting. But this is also another option of creating the pivot chart directly from the pivot table. And if you are creating a pivot chart directly, then remember that along with the pivot chart, the pivot table is also created. So friends, in this video, we have seen that how to create your first pivot chart. Now in the next video, we'll be going into the details of the pivot chart. We'll be seeing that how we can change the pivot chart, how we can do the formatting of the pivot chart. So all those things will be covered in the next video. So see you then. Thank you very much.